What's going on YouTube? Welcome back. Today we're going to do Squashed from Hug the Box. Squashed is part of the recent track we have been doing, which is a CRESCCR track. Now there is one last machine left and we're going to wrap up this track. So the last machine will be Red Cross. Uh, rest of the machines we have actually completed them. Now for Access and Tabby you can find them in the uh, the playlist of this track although they are not green check marked here but because I haven't submitted the root flag yet I will submit the root flag on my own and have them completed but for now everything is done on this track the last machine will be Red Cross today we'll be talking about Squashed okay so let's get started first thing we do all the time is in map scan as you can see we use the dash, dash a switch all the time and we have the ports listed here so you have 22 for SSH 84 a web server running and 111 for RBC bind scrolling down we have 2049 and FS file shares running on the machine so that would jump us directly to enumerating the NFS file shares now you can start enumeration enumerating the web server by browsing to the main page running directory search but you're not going to find anything so the main enumeration uh, point here of this machine is to go through the port 2049 so nfs file shares we're gonna try to explore what are the current shares on the server so we as you can see here i ran schumant dash e supply the ip address we have this one slash home ross and vr www.html so the first thing i did to guys is i mounted this share which is the root of the web server using this command dash t nfs which is via the protocol nfs file share and here we specify the full path to the share and then we specify the mounting point now what happened is when i tried to list the contents of this share when i mounted after after the mount i tried to list the contents of this share and i got these permission denied i was denied access to the files and the reason i discovered is that because when I listed the permissions of that directory that I mounted, as you can see, uh, the user ID is 2017 and the group is dubbed up data. So what's 2017? 2017 is the user ID uh, that owns uh, the directory or the share. But the thing is, I don't any we don't see any map to a username here. It's because NFS doesn't track users. It only shows IDs of both users and groups. So to be able to view the contents of this share we're gonna have to create a user whose id matches 2017 so what i did i created a new user on my own machine using user add the username i named the user squashed as you can see that now the username is added or has been added to my list of users <coughs> but it has 1001 as user id so i have to change that user id to 2017 that's what i did using user mode dash u we specify the user id to which you want to switch or to or the which you want to assign to the user and followed by the username we want to we want that id assigned to so knowing that now squashed has a user id of 2017 now i can now change the shell from my current user which is kelly to squashed using this command and then I will be able to, as you can see, have a shell as squashed. Only after, only after that, I will be able to list the contents of the uh, share I mounted. As you can see now, with no errors, I list the contents of the share. This is the contents of the root web server, or the, the web server. The main root of the web server. As you can see now, I see names. This is because now the user ID, the user I created now, has the id i saw earlier here 2017 now nfs shows me or the share shows the users and the groups owning the share okay now <coughs> reminding you guys that this is the contents of the root web server or the root of the web server it means whatever we place here so if you go back here as you can see Okay, now we access the web server, right? Or the main page. So if we try to access um, this one, index.html, right, 
as you can see we can access the page so these are the files in the root of the web server now we have access to that which means we can try writing files to the root of the web server which means if we are able to write files we can write our own shell so what I did this is the contents of the shell I created it uses CMD as the post or get request parameter okay and I echoed that contents to a file named shell inside the mount point okay if I am able to do that it means I have write I have the, the ability to write files which as you can see as you can see I was able to do that so the file here as you can see the file I created here was added to the directory this is the file now the next step is to navigate to the file so shell.php was a file that you can navigate to right but the thing is um, I changed the contents of the file later so what happened here since I was able to write a file on the root of the web server, I said, why not using a PHP reverse shell, right? So I copied the PHP reverse shell I have, okay, to the mount. Now, if you are wondering what's the contents of the PHP reverse shell, get PHP reverse shell, and this is a regular PHP reverse shell from Pentest Monkey. You can take it from there. Only change the IP address and the port to the IP address of your own machine and the port you're going to use for the um, session. So after copying that file, now I access the file, right, as you can see, using the web browser, and I was able to get the first shell. Okay, now you see this is root, I will explain later. So basically here, if I go to Alex, now first you will land as Alex. Under Alex, or if you go to go back to home, CD ROS. Under ROS there is a file called X Authority. Now, this is the core of this machine. The ability to pen test X11 or the ability to X, the ability, oh my god, the ability to pen test X. Windows 11 authorization file okay now X11 authorization is a method to authenticate and authorize users who want to connect to the display server so basically I repeat again X authority file if you see this file in any home directory of any user or desert you own user you landed to it means that the current system uses X Windows systems for displays so basically there's a display server and X11 authorization is used to authenticate and authorize user to that display server. So, so when you first connect to, to the shell, you will not be able to view the contents of this file because the permissions are denied. So what you have to do, what I did here, go back here. Okay, so I mounted, remember that there was another share, which is slash home slash ROS. Now, the author of this machine has actually let you um, see the share in the NFS file share actually to be able to view the contents of this file where it is X authority because when you first get the shell <coughs> as Alex you will not be able to view the contents of this file so the only method to view the contents of this file is to go back and mount this share that's what I did so first let me close this one I don't need it this one so here I unmounted the current share and again created a new directory name it squashed ross under that directory i mounted the home directory of ross the reason is i want to be able to view the contents of the x authority file here it is when i cut this file scrolling down yeah as you can see it is a cookie file magic cookie file <laughs> okay which means whoever user has the ownership of this file or whoever user, who can, whoever user can use this file they can actually log in and authorize uh, authorize themselves as the user owning this file to the display server so if we take that file x authority and we place it under 
the home directory of Alex because again I will remind you guys when you first get the reversal you will get it as Alex so you will need to copy this file okay x authority to the home directory of Alex so if you see the back which actually what I did you can see x authority here now how I did this so basically if you go here remember that I have got access to the share so what I did I run a Python web server right on the share and then I used wget here is here you could type the of your machine the port and then x using this command you will be able to retrieve the file or the cookie file from the web server running on the share okay which is you which which you are supposed to have mounted on your machine this way you can copy this file x authority right to the user alex which you initially own when you first get the shell okay now the next thing let me show you guys what I did so here next what you will do here guys you will run W W will show you the ID of the display running so let's run W here as you can see now W has the ID 0 okay and the user root is user ROS is connected now the next thing to enumerate the, 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 the objective here guys is to see what are the users who are connected to the X display okay and then impersonate these users so after running W we get the idea of the display right now next we want to see more information about the display so what we do we use X DPY info dash display and here is the idea of the display now usually here before the ID before the column we put the IP address of the machine which runs the display server but since we are actually inside the machine no need to put the IP address and other command you will need here is X win info here you will check if the root user is also connected to the display so if root is connected you can also impersonate the root user now if you run these commands the first one here it says unable to open display zero which means I don't have authorization yet to open the display this is because I'm running it from the root user I'm supposed to run this from the uh, from Alex so if I sue to Alex let me if, let me see if I can sue to Alex okay and I run this one more time as you can see I get the output right and if I run this see if the display is connected to user again one more time right as you can see your root here is connected connected to the display the root window so what does that mean it means now I can I have two options I can do screenshot capturing which will work for this machine basically it will do screenshots okay and the other thing you can get a shell right to the display server using Metasploit now in this scenario what we're going to do we go, we're going to get a screenshot because actually what's going on on this machine the author has um, in the display server they actually <coughs> opened uh, the file the key pass file with the username root and the password so when you get a screenshot when you grab a screenshot using the command here you'll be able to take a screenshot of the username and the password of the user root so Using this command, we will be able to um, get a screenshot, right? But again, we will omit the IP address because we are actually inside the same machine. So using this command, we will be able to get a screenshot and save it into screenshot.xwd. So that's what I did here. And then we need to grab the screenshot to my machine. So let's see if let's see if there are some space here to show you the command. Okay. No space, so run the command. But here I changed the name to you can change the name, or you can first store it under temp directory, 
and name it whatever you want screen shot right after you do that you will take a screenshot of the x display server now again under this scenario it happens that the x display server uh, left the key pass program open with the root username and its password exposed so when you actually take a screenshot with this command you will take a screenshot of the credentials so running that will store will actually store the screenshot under the temp directory if you attempt to run the temp directory here or to list the contents of the temp directory you will see the screenshot as you can see this is the screenshot i created squashed root now to move the screenshot to my machine what you can do here you can run netcat so nc yeah Run, run, run netcat on your machine, a listener on 4546 for example and send the output to a file this is the name of the file that you actually this is the name of the screenshot that you actually created from the last command here okay now here it happens to be squashed root now how do I send this to my machine I use cat squashed root and I send this to a new netcat connection here i put my ip address on the port 446 it will connect to my machine and send the screenshot okay now let's view the screenshot this is the file now to be this is a screenshot file which is a windows dump image to be able to convert this to a png file you will have to use image magic tools you can install them on your machine by running the command sudo apt-get and install image magic after or having done this having installed the suit of tools you're going to use convert supplying the first file which is the windows dump file okay and then the output will be an image file png file can work now then you can open the png file and you will see the screenshot that has been taken right as you can see the x display server has left the key pass open showing the root username and password now in a regular scenario outside of hack the box maybe screenshot will not give you what you want so alternatively what you can do you can run a shell inside the display server using metasploit there's an active exploit for that you will supply the x authority file which you which you already have the ip address and then you will have a shell inside the display server okay so that was it guys so Using the root and username, we will be able to log in to the machine as root. So here, su root. It will ask for the password. You guys just apply the password here and you will log in as root and then you will have the root flag. So that was it guys. I hope you like that. And I will don't forget that I will update the notes file, especially the update uh, I have here. Okay. If you are subscribed to the channel membership, the second tier, you will be able to view this file in the Google Drive and the Community tab. Thank you for watching and I will see you later.